write a lot of things I really like to write some wrongs So I came to sing a song in hopes of moving life along Beats banging like a gong and smashing like a cymbal You be quick, jack out the box and I'll be nimble Bite is touching on your ears like you're hitting lotto Now stop it with the knowledge to your temples to cattle This hip-hop stampedes and intercedes evil deeds What most rap these days stagnates we perceive Scorpio, Scorpio, how you doing? For the <laughs> this, uh, if you haven't met this channel before, I also start to channel some messages first, and then we look at a tower reading. But I will explain towards the end. How you doing, Scorpio? So, uh, man, I am hearing some strange stuff in my head. It's like, man, I can hear all this stuff in my head. What is it? It's like my head's stuffed. I've got my head stuffed in it, or someone's giving someone a head. But it's <laughs> I keep picking up like, look at the head on that, or the name Ed, or Edmonds, or Edwina. But like uh, I'm picking up, look at the head on that. That's a huge head. Now, I don't know if that's someone that physically does have a big head or it's an ego clash or it's a head. But it's like, well, I'm getting ahead, I'm getting ahead, I'm getting ahead, and I'm getting ahead of myself. It's like, look at the head on that. There are so many heads or heads around here, it's unreal. So you've kind of got this like, man, is that real or is that fake? Like, look at the size of them. Like, they're a sweet pair of something because I'm hearing a sweet symphony or the name Cynthia or like a synthesizer, because you've got a lot of references in music, Scorpio. So I keep hearing, like, look at the size of the head on it. Like, that's a huge head. Unless you're drinking skull or something. Because <laughs> I keep picking up, like, beer and there's a head on it. It's like, I just need to blow the... F Man, what are y'all blowing on, Scorpio? <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm going to blow a trumpet or, like, uh, a music thing. And I'm blowing my own trumpet. So, man, if you're that big, then someone can blow on their own trumpet. And it's like, look at their trumpet. They can even probably blow themselves. So, <laughs> I was like, oh, Joe, the name Joe. But keeping up J, 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 J. Okay, the letter J or JJ. But I'm um, picking up like, um, like, look at the size of the trumpet. Like, that's a big one. It's, it's kind of like that like, you could blow your own trumpet if you want. So you're like, look, you can blow me or you can call me out. So you've got me out, look at the pussy. So you've got uh, Leo's here. So you've got Leo's, look at Leo's pussy. That's a big cat. And you've got battle cat. So you've got Adam and Eve because you've got uh, Captain Grayskull. So you've got Adam and Eve Gemini energies here somewhere, Scorpio. Uh, we will put the glue together eventually. Give me a second. But you've got, look at the head on that. That's a huge fish. So some fish has got a big head. Well, that might be me because I am a fish. Uh, and some people do see me as a big head, right? But like, I need to go at the big head, or I need to. <laughs> well, this is coming across quite strange. Quite strange. Uh, Stranger Things, three. Scorpio. Uh, X marks the spot, Mulder and Scully. The X Files. It's like I'm going through files. Like, I'm going to file a complaint. Oh, okay. Who's filing complaints? It's like, okay, I'm going to file it. Like, I don't know, because I keep picking up things being filed, like putting it into a folder. Okay, like I'm going to file this and put it into a folder. And I'm going to file this and put this into a folder. And put them all into like a personal, personal organized folder. So it doesn't go anywhere. It means that this folder is mine and all of these things go in here because it's my folder. So <laughs> it's kind of like that you've got a special fold, like special fold or, uh, 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 hold on, there's a name there, special fold. Uh, anyway, uh, I keep picking up like a folder, folder, Faulkner, Newton Faulkner, but uh, a folder. So this is my folder and it's got all my personal artifacts in it. Because I keep picking up either a file of facts or filing documents or filing something and keeping tab. You've got tabby cat, Leo energy, and I'm keeping tab. So I'm keeping like a, because I keep picking up like a tabby cat, like uh, like a battle cat having a battle with a cat, which would be a Leo. So it's a battle. Love is a, ba love is a battle, right? Who was that that sung that one? Um, love is a battle. Uh, I forget what her name is. Um, she was in the Fugees, right? But um, something to do with Fu, 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 Bonnie McGrew. But hold on. What on earth are these relating to, Scorpio? You've got, mu you've got music. I got the music in me. It's like, I've got the music in me. It's like, whatever it is, it's inside me. Now, <laughs> it's in, in Cynthia. It's in Symphony. It's like, we need to work in tandem. Or the name Tanya. Or anything beginning with T. Or like Stee or T. But, uh, like, 
We need to work with Steve. We need to work with Steve. We need to work for Steve or with Steve, but we're working with you. It's like I'm working on it. So it's kind of like, look, I'm working on it. I'm going, oh, okay. <laughs> it's kind of like someone's in a rush. It's like, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Eureka! So uh, you got Yuri Gregor or Gregor, Greg Gregson's or Greg's uh, dregs, like picking up the dregs, dregs, legs, picking up someone's legs. It's like, man, look at their legs. Man, y'all got some dirty references now, Scorpio. Like, look at the legs on it. Look at the head on it. Like, it's got a huge head or it's got like a big, like, it's like a fish. And it's like, man, I've got this fish. And like, look at the head. And it's kind of like someone goes fishing. And then they're like this fish, and they're like, man, they take a photograph. <laughs> they have a take a photograph of an actual fish or something that's big anyway. And it's like, look at the head. Like, look, look. And it's kind of like where you go fishing, and you're like, someone does a photograph, and they do a back catalogue of all the fish that they've got. Or like, because I can see someone holding something like that. And like, look. And they take a picture or something. Oh, but it's like two hands worth, whatever it is. Or they're from Hansworth. Somebody could be called Hannah or from Hansworth. Okay, but I'm hearing whatever this is, it needs to be held within two hands and not one. It takes two hands. So, or their name Anne also. Anne, Abigail or Anne or Abby or anything that's beginning with A. Uh, but it's going to take two hands. It can't take one, it takes two. It takes two, baby. It takes two, baby, just me and you. So, so look, look, this is just between me and you and nobody else. There's another song there. But I promise this is just between me and you and nobody else. It will go no further. So, I mean, you're good at keeping secrets. You're looking at Libra energies of like, okay, can you keep a secret? It's like, do you want to? It's like, do you want to dance with the devil in the dark around a Capricorn energy? It's like, like do you want to? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Do you want, like, do you want, what do you want? I can give you, if you want it, I'll give you it. So someone's giving somebody something, Scorpio. Now, if these are sexual references, they are. But it's like, look, I've got something to show you and I've got something for you. Do you want it? And you're like, yeah, no, I'll take it all day long. So someone can take what it is that someone has. It's like, can you take that? And they're like, yeah, I can take that anywhere. Like, <laughs> I'll take that anywhere. It's like, I'll take that with a grain of salt. I'll take that with a pinch of salt. I'll take it with everything. Because you're looking at food references or Capricorn references of sausage party. So you got, look, I'll take that off your hands. So you're like, well, look, if you don't want them, I'll have them. Because if you're single and you're ready and you've got one that size, then I'll take that right off you. I mean, you could be going to the seller's market or down the cellar, right? Or uh, something sellers. Okay, so somebody sellers, the name. But like, um, I'll take that off your hands and I'll go down the fish market. So you might be from London. Right, and you might go and down Boone's Gate or something. And you're like, look at all the fish on that market. Like, there's loads on there, Mark. So you got look, there's marks all over this fish, and it's like, well, look, I need to show you my fish, but it's got a mark on it. <laughs> or I need to show you my. Oh, okay, someone's showing you a tattoo. Oh, okay, somebody did say, Steve, what is? Can you show me your tattoos? I mean, you can't see it really now, but oh, I don't really matter. Uh, that one's a guitar, it's got my dad's name on it, and it was a Les Paul, and I had my dad's name imprinted on it. Uh, and that was the first one. And then, well, that was the first one. That's a guitar with roses. These are chains that go in and out of the skin and up and out and around, and then they go around the whole lot. That says break a chain to make a chain. Okay, so these are all chains. Uh, and that was just esoteric, break a chain to make a chain. And then this, you won't be able to see this one, because this is... Um, goes all the way up here and it's um, an angel wing and it was when I started uh, first became uh, clairvoyant and getting cold and, and getting cold chills uh, and I had an angel wing imprinted on here also representing my dad that is no longer here so I had one posted here <laughs> okay uh, but that was when I first become esoteric I realized that I was going cold and so I had that my angel is always by my side so you got Charlie's angels or someone that's called angel Okay, or uh, An Angie, or An, An anything beginning with A, 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 like A, A, okay. <laughs> okay, A, A. It's like uh, some of you could be going, anything to do with the Cancerian. 
<laughs> but why do you always pick on the Cancerians? Because they're drinking. That's why. Because so, you've got, look, they're just drinking. It's like they just drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and drink. Me, I drink coffee. So I drink and drink and drink. You could be, oh, okay, you could be drinking and driving. Don't drink and drive. If you're a cross watcher of Scorpio and you've got Cancerian or anybody, don't drink and drive. Because they're saying, look, I'll drive the shaft. <laughs> so you've kind of like, look, do you want to drive stick or shaft? Or it's like, shaft. So it's like, look, do you want a stick or do you want a shaft? What do you want? Because you're definitely shoving a stick in something. So, man, you know, these are just references that are dirty, Scorpio. You've got like driving someone's shaft or they've got a huge shaft, put it that way. So you've kind of got, look, look at the size of the shaft. <laughs> so anyway... Scorpio, how is this relating to people not clicking off and thinking, what the hell are you talking about? Capricorn. So that's what I'm talking about, Capricorn. They probably haven't got Capricorn in their chart. Or it's like a very dirty, sexual, intoriated chain. Might be that. But it's something to do with a chain. A chain. Like, let's make, let's make a chain. Okay, you've got a lot of references of music, though, because you've got Cynthia, uh, Synth, uh, Stevens. I can also hear, like, Something that's made up, like made up, made up love songs. Who's telling that one? Made up love songs? So I'm making a love song and I've got made up love songs as well. But I've got a maiden name or I've got a Maddie or an Addy or an ADD positive or oh, I don't know what that one is. <laughs> Might be the Cancerians. Oh, no. Uh, I've got something like ADD or Adrian or anything like that. Okay. Uh, but um, I've got I've got something, a fish, but I've got a false name to the name of Stevens because I keep picking up Stevens, 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 but it's not a real name at the beginning. It's a false name and then Stevens. So it would be someone's YouTube thing, what they chat with or something. They use it and it's something false, Stevens. Something true, something false. Libra energies you've got here. So you've got something true, something honest, something false, something new, something blue. For a lot of you, you could be getting divorced or it's a married or anything like that. But I've got something new, I've got something blue, but at least I've got something honest. You're like, well, at least this person's honest and at least they keep, their, keep to their word. They said, no, I'll keep my promise, honestly. So you've got like, like, will you keep your promise? If you promise to do this, will you keep it? So you're like, yeah, I will keep that secret all day long. Okay, so you've got like, one day in your life, but I've got, because it it's like these things being filed or like kept a secret. And it's like, no, I've got a song that will get on your nerves, get on your nerves, get on your nerves. I've got a song that will get on your nerves. Well, a lot of my songs probably get on people's nerves. But um, like, I've got, uh, I've got a song, but it feels like that I've got a thong. <laughs> it's like, well, I've got a thong. Someone's like, <laughs> um, there's a song there as well about a thong, right? Someone's got something long in their thong, anyway. They're wearing stockings and tights. They're wearing thongs. And they're showing you songs. And they're showing you their thongs, basically. And also their tongues. Someone's going to show you a tongue. Or like their tie. Or like a tie. Someone's from Thailand or something. And it's like, I'm from Thailand. And I'm going to show you my tongue. <laughs> I'm tongue-tied, I'm speechless. You've got something that's very shocking that's gonna leave you breathless, and it's also gonna leave you, oh, okay. I don't know if it's anything to do with breast. <laughs> Man, I keep trying to get rid of the dirty things. Sorry. Breastless, like breasts of chicken or breasts and breasts. It's like this person's got breasts for days. It's like I can show you my breasts if you want. I've got a nice pair of chickens. So you're looking at Stuart Little, but uh, like I've got a little one and I've got a large one. It's like, man, they are like, it's kind of like, man, you've got a perfect one. It's like, look at the knockers. Because these are like uh, coconuts or like, man, you have got some coconuts, some pears, some apples, some oranges. It's like, where have you got all of these things from? So I don't know if someone's sizing up all of these things and thinking, well, I've got a collection of uh, like a small one, large one, medium unless you're just going to eat a burger or something, and it's like, I'm going to eat a burger, and it's a large one. So you've kind of got, oh, I'm going to go for the burger. 
So some of you could be in the same sex relationship or it's like, well, I'm going down for the burger. So you could be going just simply out for a burger with Cynthia or Sin or Steve or something. But uh, it's like, well, I'm just going to go out with the burger. So it's like, well, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out with the burger. So <laughs> I'm going for a Big Mac. So it's like, listen, Maxine or vaccine, I'm going to go out for the, oh, okay. Some of you are looking for the vaccine or max, like the maximum, like I'm looking to go max, like I'm looking to go large and I'm looking to get the big time and the big fish and I'm looking for the maximum of what I can get. So, you, so you've kind of got this, I'm looking for the bigger, I'm looking for something bigger. It's kind of, I'm sorry, but I want something bigger. I want something better. I want something that's going to last and not fade away. <laughs> so you got references of Mick Jagger or Michael, but like, uh, don't fade away. So like, don't fade, will you? Don't fade, don't fade, don't fade, don't fade. Don't fade it. Don't fade it. Don't laid it. I haven't laid it. So someone, somebody hasn't actually got laid. <laughs> Meaning like I haven't, I'm not actually getting laid, but I'm getting something. So you're all getting pictures or something. But like, uh, I'm not, what on earth does that reference mean? I'm not like laid it yet. Like I'm, oh, <laughs> it could be a track. I haven't laid it down yet. Meaning, uh, <laughs> so you haven't put something to rest yet. And you haven't put someone to bed yet. It's like, I haven't laid you down yet. Because it's like, look, look, come here, young lady. I haven't finished with you yet. I haven't laid this. I haven't put this to rest yet. There's, they're saying, look, uh, we haven't put this to rest yet. Like I am got more. <laughs> so you, you've kind of got this. Look, we haven't put this to rest yet. We've got more yet. It's like there's more and there's more. Come here, I'll tell you more. Come here, I'll tell you more. Or Doctor More or Doctor Mix. But like I've got more of a mix. I've got more yet. I've got more to come. There's more to come. So someone's definitely coming, someone's got more and more and more. You might be looking at more pictures or laying something down. I don't know if this is sex or just laying it down. You've got more mixes, okay, which would also be ru 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 <laughs> Rubik messages, a Rubik's cube, or rude messages. They're saying rude messages. But they're also saying, uh, I've got, like, baby root, but I've got roots. I've got root. I've got Roo. Roo? Rooina? Or Rowena? I've got Roo Roo. <laughs> I've got Roo Roo. I've got Tutu. It's like, no, look, look at your Tutu. <laughs> Don't mess with my Tutu. So someone's messing with their Tutu. <laughs> Why are all these messages just lately with all my, well, with a lot of channel stuff, they're all like where everybody suddenly just got uh, horny in some aspect of around Capricorn energies? Of like, look at the horns. Because, yeah, I mean, these could even be, man, that's a pair of, like, horns. Like, like look at the horns. <laughs> but that could also be uh, a devil. Like, look at, or Taurus references. Like, look at the horns on that bull. So you've got Jim and Bowen. So BFH. The BFH. Bus fare home. So, or an, an affair at home. So somebody that's sending things or laying something down is having an affair at home. <laughs> They're like, well, I'm having a fair amount of something. I don't know if there's a fairground attraction, but that would be Cancerians because it was an old reading. Uh, and it was, I don't want no love affair. Young, heart, no, young hearts are foolish too many times. But now I'm determined, I'm gonna get it. It's like I'm gonna, I am determined that I'm gonna get this right. Or oh, I don't know if any of you are looking at a termination. A termination. Because I'm picking up determined to lay it down, and I'm determined to, to lay this to rest and forget the past, and to put it down and to lay this person down to, okay. They're saying lay this person down to rest. May they, uh, lay you down to rest. I forget what that, references is from but may we lay you down to rest uh i love my soul to uh something like that okay to keep so i'm putting something down because i've got a keeper it's like uh, i've got a keeper of secrets and i've got a keeper so it's like i'm gonna keep her oh okay so a lot of you you've got references of around children and 
like a possible divorce or something where it's like, no, I'm going to keep her. So if there's like a pregnancy and some of you are pregnant, there's going to be a, an answer to that, which would be, no, I'm going to keep her. Because you're, you're looking at a kipper or so, which is around a fish, and it's like, no, that, that is a keeper, like a landing net. It's like I've got a whole net full of fish, and that fish I'm going to keep. So, you, But I'm also hearing, like, I'm going to keep her. So some of you could be a goal scorer or a hole. Well, every hole's a goal. It's like, look at the holes. <laughs> so, I don't know. You've kind of got any hole as a goal, or look at their hole. So you're definitely looking at holes, right, or moles. Now, I don't know if any of you are worrying about an illness where it would require a, like, a ligament mole or something, right? Anything that is medical that might require a checkup of a mole, okay? Molly, that would be anything around cancerians because they had something shoved up their nose and that ended up being Molly and chasing the dragon and cocaine and God knows what else they had in their reading. That was also in another, if I picked it up, but you'll have to watch the messages of your other readings, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So you've got addiction here. You've got some of you need to look for a mole and go and get it checked out or you're going to get something checked out around a hole. That would represent me because I have got to go, like I said in the other reading, I've got to go to the hospital to have my nose looked at because I've had uh, sleep apnea my whole life and I, I can't smell and I can't breathe. Like me, I only breathe. That's why I lose my speech sometimes. Something is definitely going to leave you breathless anyway, but breastless. I don't know if there is a cancerian energy here or it's something to do with someone's breasts or chickens. Some of you, the messages may be different where it's pictures. Some of you may be different where it is a checkup because it might be to doing with someone's breast, okay? Uh, and it might be to do with a, a mole that might need to go get checked. It might be a dog, which would be my dog that is actually called Molly. She might be going to the vets because that would be a V. So you, a dog might be taken to the veterinarian during these times, okay? Because I'm hearing that something needs to be checked. And my dog is actually called Molly. But some of you, there really are drug references here for a lot of you, okay, and things being need to be checked inside of a hole now, or, or, okay, or put inside of a hole. So I'm sorry if there are references of people burying someone or something and it needing to be put in a hole, okay? Can't tell you who, what, where, or when, I'm sorry, but nobody is exempt from a message. I can just tell you that there is something that's coming up around that, and when that happens, you can either just take that info and think that's what that was and report it back to me or just take it as a message, okay? But they're saying, look, just take it as it comes, right? So there is something where you're just going to have to take this as it comes, meaning it's coming and it's there, but you're just going to have to take it as is, right? So take it as you will. So I don't know what, what message that is coming from because I don't know if it's a personal thing. It's a personal thing. It's a personal thing. So you're going to have to take that as it is. Tis. It feels like, like you're just going to have to take this as it is and then I can lay it down for you. But I mean, I've got, a, I've got one of my best friends that lives in America, uh, Idaho. And uh, we've never met. And uh, we've always talked about music. And uh, we're doing something together because I've just got him into... Because he's a guitarist. He's a guitarist all day long. Uh, and uh, I've just got him into getting the door and a MIDI controller, and uh, we're actually gonna uh, I'm gonna help him through learning that and then do something. So it's kind of like send you something because I was on about sending this person stems through uh, a track of mine, so that would be relating to to that and sending because I keep picking up these things of Steve <laughs> or like stems, like stem cell therapy. And that might have anything to do that's medical, because that would be stem cell therapy, and that might be a cancer or something, okay? So I do apologize. I don't know. But I'm just hearing stem cell therapy. I'm also hearing stems and Steve. Now, stems is also things that are involved in music, because that's getting a load of things and sending it in order to be edited, right? So you've kind of got the editors, which is also music reference, but like the editing, like I need, I need an editor, or an Edmonds, or Ed, 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 and I need something editing. So you might be just editing things yourself, or needing something editing. 
Okay, but uh, the most important messages there, Scorpio, are something around um, uh, a checkup. If there's anything that is medical, me that would be my nose. If it leads to anything else, got no idea. You know, like I said, I'm never exempt. I'm also Scorpio rising. Okay, um, but like uh, you've kind of got this hole energy. <laughs> And those holes are coming in. That's what they're saying. You've got a hole coming in <laughs> or that needs filling in. Like someone is, man, they're dripping like a fridge. So they're like, man, this hole needs filling in. And it's like, I've got this hole. Can you fill it? So I've also got this spot. Can you fill it? So you've kind of got, look, I've got a segment and I've got a, a, a place. And can you fill it with a fish? So <laughs> fill it a fish. So you've got messages there that are dirty, normal, also medical. So you've got medical, pharmaceutical, drugs here also. But honestly, you're, you're really going to have to know what I'm talking about because you've got drug addicts. I'm not beating around the bush. You've got drug addicts. You've got something medical. might have something to do with someone's breathing. It might have something to do with someone breeding. So it might be a, a reference of something. Now I want to keep the child. I am pregnant and I want to keep it. So you might have references of court and things like this that you're going through. Uh, you've got something that is inside a hole. Right, so it might be where you be you might have had to have buried someone, and it might be like a cremation or something like this. Okay, uh, so for a lot of you there, those messages, not everybody don't make them all fit because they are you're not all exactly the same. Uh, these are all not exactly the same; they are slightly different, is what I keep hearing. That something is not quite adding up, or it's different, or it's like it's different. It's like it's not the same as anybody else. It's original. It's made. It's worthy. It's worth it. And it's worth the effort, and it's worth the time, and it's worthy, and uh, uh, it's original. Like it, this person or this thing is original, and it's not done by anybody else. It's completely original, which means that it's not copying. It's actually original, right? So you've got that. This is just absolutely original, right? So, or the name Rigin, Rigin, okay? Uh, but like, uh, it's original. So just to recap again, Scorpio. You got references of hospital. Some of you, it's a checkup around a mole, which is a dog or a cat, because my dog is called Molly. Okay. Some of you, that reference is like a veterinary or just need to go to the hospital. Some of this is Molly, which means drugs and alcohol and things being put up people's nose and drug addiction. You got someone here that could have a child with someone, and it's like they're going through something individual themselves around a drug addiction and trying to keep someone out because I'm hearing like I need to try and keep you out of this like it's none of your business keep out of it it's mine and I'm keeping it and I'm not letting it go so you kind of got this like you're not having my kid you're not having my child you're not having what I know it's it's mine it's personal stay out of it blah 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 or an argument that could arise through children and kids okay and that it's not yours, it's mine, it's not yours, it's mine. I'm picking up the sun because that has a reference of two children fighting over a flag. So they're saying red flags around children and fighting over kids for a lot of you. Uh, Libra could definitely be here because they had references of drugs and fighting to, ki to get their kids back. Uh, and with someone that was struggling through an addiction is what I'm also hearing. So any of these could be sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. And I'm fighting with the person to keep the child or to give the child up or give up the ghost. Meaning I need to give up the ghost because they're no longer here. So if you're not here, that means that someone's passed on or the person is no longer with that person. And they're going through something with that person that is involving their children. Right. Which means that you could be involved with a energy with another person that has children and you're involved in it. And it's to do with exes and people that are involved around these energies that are important to you at this time Scorpio so these energies are for you but it is they are also for the people that you are connected with during this time um, so just to recap you've got Capricorn energies here putting a cap on it put a lid on it Lydia I'm also putting a Lydia uh, but that would be also the references of the Netflix flicking the bean flicking new through Netflix but if you've got control and narcissism around anybody, that is um, Betty Brooker's story, which was, well, at least it's something. So you've kind of got that as something for nothing. I give you something for nothing, or I want nothing for something. So you've got someone that's trying to get something for nothing, meaning I don't want to pay. 
you've got someone that's trying to make someone pay for something that they don't want to pay for and I don't know where that energy is coming from like I, I, I want something but I don't want to pay for it or I'm going to make you pay for it like I don't know if this is an argument or like like I can't pay but you have to pay because I'm hearing it's either to be or not to be meaning it's kind of inevitable and it's all up in the air which is around Libra or Sagittarius and it's like uh, it's inevitable and it's either it's, our, it's a father it's their father this is either a person that's passed or it's their father of their child meaning I'm sorry but it's their child oh okay you could have a reference here that someone could have got pregnant and says to someone, I'm sorry, but it's not yours, it's theirs. Which means that I got pregnant and it isn't yours, it's someone else's. Or there's a male here that got someone pregnant that is about to say, I'm sorry, but it's not your child. I've got someone pregnant and it's theirs and it's with another woman. So whichever way this is, somebody here has, has got somebody pregnant and somebody's going to be um, saying, I'm sorry, but it is not your child. It is their child. Because I'm hearing references of some of you that are fighting with a child that you know is yours. But there's another energy here. <laughs> sorry, I'm completely zonked out. There is another energy here that someone is fighting because someone is about to say, I'm sorry, but you are not the father of this child or you are not the mother of my child. And I had a child with someone else. So somebody basically wants to keep a child where somebody's pregnant and you're going to hear or they are word of, I'm sorry, but I've got somebody pregnant and it is not yours, it is theirs. So somebody's definitely got somebody pregnant here for a lot of you. And if not, that's you fighting like with and over a child of someone that, where it's over, but you just, there's no love there, and you just fight with them over a child, or you fight with a parent, and you are the child, and you fight, and you say, I'm sorry, but, you know, you might be my parent, but really, I'm, you know, I feel like I'm not even your kid, like, I feel like I'm not even your child, like, you know, we don't get on, we don't talk, there's no respect, you don't give me respect, I don't pay you respect, you don't pay me, because I'm hearing, like, better paying, money or paying respect or like uh like you don't ever pay me any respect and you don't ever pay me any compliments and if you don't do that and we don't get on then it's kind of like you're a family member but what's the point because you don't ever pay me any compliments or you don't ever pay me any respect and because you don't ever pay all you ever do is want and the pay people that always just want things you've kind of got this energy well like you know if you keep trying to make me pay for the energy i don't want it because you've got someone that just will not that ref, refuses to pay for things. And that might be around children where it's like, you know, I need some clothes. I need some blah, blah, blah. I need this. I need that. And they're like, no, I'm not paying for that. Because you've got, like, I don't need to be held accountable for that. And I don't know if someone's like with somebody here and they're with someone else's kid. And they're like, look, they're not my children. They're your kids. Like if, you know, they're not mine, they're yours. And I'm not going to be paying like welfare and stuff for them. So I don't know what that, whether that's involving just family argument or whether it's a couple that are together where there's like children involved but the person like it's a stepfather here or a stepmother. Whichever way, it's like a stepmother, stepfather, something energy of like, I'm sorry but that's not mine. That's not mine. And I'm not hold, being going to be held accountable for that thing that is not mine or for that child that is not mine or for my mother saying what she does. Or, you know, you can do and say whatever you like, but I'm not going to get involved with this energy. And I'm, I, I, I don't know what, what, <laughs> man, I don't know if you can see, but I've got my eyes shut. Like, uh, like, I'm not, I'm not going to pay for this. Like, you know, I'm not going to pay is what they're saying. But you've got some also very good messages here as well, Scorpio. Like, uh, like laying something down or laying someone on a carpet or getting carpet burns or uh, like <coughs> laying a track down or uh, Tracy <coughs> uh, or um, I don't know, like a vault, like I'm picking up like a secret vault 
like it's a, a vault of something that is between me and you, V, the name V or Stee, Stephen, but like this is just between me and you and that goes into my secret vault, meaning it's around Scorpio Taurus and it means it goes into my chest, about my chest, about my breast, or like uh, it's my chest of money and nobody gets into my account without my say so, or nobody gets onto my uh, Patreon or on, I don't know, like nobody gets onto this thing without my say so, meaning like you don't get this until I say so, you know. So you've kind of got this, nobody gets it, it's mine, it's personal, it's locked into a Chesa Trust, Chesa, Ch Ch Chesney, Hawks, or Chesa, or Cherry, or Sherry, but like uh, it's mine, it goes into my vault, and that's where it stays, right, in, in my vault. It's personal, it's private, it's mine, it's between me and you, it's nobody else, okay. You kind of got that. Some of you it's to do with like money and it's personal, it's private, stay out of it. What I earn is mine, what I have is mine. You don't need to know. That could be a family member or something like that and it's all private, it's all personal and I'm keeping this to myself and it's in like, it's it's never gonna be known, this thing. You, you are, a lot of you, whatever this secret is, is the best kept secret, which is around a plan of Libra and it was no one's ever gonna know. So don't keep trying because you're never gonna know. You are never gonna find out. If someone is physically lying, you'll never find out, okay? If somebody doesn't want someone to know, it's because they don't want anybody to know, and this is why I said, never ever pressure a Scorpio to tell lies or secrets, right? Because if, they, if people have got secrets, they have them for their own reason. That's why if someone has a secret. That's why it's called a secret. Secret seven, <laughs> right? So uh, uh, it's around a Cancerian or a seven. But uh, it's like, look, it's a secret, so you don't divulge secrets. And this is where people can get very like, well, I want to know what that secret is. Well, there's a secret for a reason of Pandora's box, which means that you're not supposed to open Pandora's box, right? So it means that you're not supposed to open uh, a secret vault of what someone's holding, meaning like someone might keep trying to find something out or I don't know. Whichever way, you're looking at a secret that's kept within the family or a secret that's kept between you and somebody and it's like puts in a vault and it's locked up and it's in a key and there it is and no one else has access to it right because you've got like money or like a, a secret savings account or something and uh it's all under lock and key mum's the word it's all in there and it's locked up and there you go and that is in this deck which is the four of uh, the four of uh cups okay uh the four sorry the four of um coins pentacles so anyway, wow, that was strange. So you got some strange messages there, Scorpio. Just very quickly, I'm just going to have a quick drink. But if you are interested in music, I also produce music. It's also part of Angel Radio. Okay, you can skip it if you don't. But a lot of people say, oh, what's that? It is being sold and it is also free. There is another channel that's called Angel Radio. There is a playlist on this channel that's called Angel Radio Music. And it's a full list of free stuff that I make. If you like it and you want to support me, you can also buy it on Patreon. I'm going to have a quick break, just quickly. I'm going to let you listen to the last one that I've just started to make, but it's not fit together yet. stop running around a seven or a cancerian if i saw you now would you stop if i saw you now would you stop running yeah anyway let's see but uh who knows my music doesn't normally come out until messages are there <laughs> right because that's normally how i work so that normally means how it all starts to come together when there's a message in the music okay so uh i'm working on it so let's see uh, Scorpio, what's been going on with Scorpio? Show me what's been going on with Scorpio. 
Okay, I only do this because this is really supposed to be over on um, Patreon, but I've got a new deck and I thought I'm just going to put something out there. But uh, the Three of Pentacles, Rainbow and Zippy, I'm looking in on someone's relationship. I'm in a relationship, but I'm looking at someone else. So whatever it is, you're dealing with Pisces. If they're not in a relationship, this person is. But you've got, look, like, I'm appearing in and having a look. It's like, well, go on then, I'll have a look. So you kind of, it's like, what are you looking at, bruv? It's like, I said, bruv, what are you looking at? It's like, shut up and get out. It's like, I'm looking. It's like, what are you doing up there, George? It's like, get down off that ladder. It's like, no, listen, David Gray, I'm not getting down off that ladder. <laughs> so you've kind of got, look, what, Sid, what are you looking at? It's like, this is none of your business, you two. Stay out of what I'm doing. I'm just going into the bathroom for a second. I'm just going to see Bartholomew. It's like, bruv, oh, Sid, what are you doing in that picture? It's like, well, I'm having a look. Get out, Sid. I, I, I want to look. It's like, get out. Stay out of it. I'm doing something. You're like, hello? What you? It's like, get out. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just be there in a second. Hold on. <laughs> so if you've got kids and all that, stay out of the room. Don't go in the room. If you've got children and stuff like that, and they're in the bathroom for too long, don't just barge straight into the bathroom. Okay, but I'm hearing like, no, it's between me and it's like, what you got? It's like, oh, let me have a look. Oh, get me, let me, oh, just get, get out of my way. I want to have a look. <laughs> so you kind of got this where like it's like I just need a break from my children and from my parents and I'm doing something that is private and personal in my life stay out of it it's like no what are you looking at it's like shut up it's mine so I, I need some personal time stay out of it stop looking in on what I'm doing be more concerned about what you're doing and not what I'm doing now whatever that alludes to in the future is private Right? It's a private energy. So, because it's three. Unless you're dealing with a complete player and you're like, yeah, but third party is where I'm in love with a liar. Well, then why are you in love with a liar? Okay? Here. So, you know, you've got energies here because someone's in love with somebody here. <laughs> okay? Uh, but uh, I'm hearing um, what you're looking at. It's like, get out of the way, Sid. I'm trying to have a look. So, anyway. Let's see, Scorpio. So this is your past. So you got stretched out, bro. This is a stretch. It's like, well, I'm going to give you a long stretch. I'm going to give you something long. <laughs> so someone is on a stretcher. So some of this person here could have been carried out on a stretcher somewhere. They could have gone to the hospital on a stretcher, right? Or sketcher, like they're sketching, like etch a sketch. Somebody's been drawing, okay, sketching. Or like, it's very sketchy, it's private, which means that to someone it's very sketchy and very like, what's going on? It's like, what's going on? It's like, nothing is going on. I'm just doing something that is private and it's between me and this person because you've got two threes. Now, if that is a third party, that's because someone's tangled up with someone that they're trying to like, just stay out of my business and stay out of my marriage, stay out of my relationship. If you walked away and you were behind me, then you're more behind me than in front of me. And the person that is in front of me is the Pisces energy. So if this person is a double Pisces or you've got like all double big macked up with Pisces and you're all been shacked up with a Jack or Jackie or like shacked up with someone and they're all got Pisces in their chart, this is kind of like, hey, Sid, what are you doing just sitting there like that doing nothing? It's like, stay out of my life, stay out of my business. I am looking at another, which is another mother or another Pisces. So whichever way, these are involving quite a few Pisceans in people's charts, some in Rising and Venus and Jupiter. But it's like, oh, Sid, what are you doing? It's like, well, you walked off and you're no longer with me here, piece of three and a piece of the pie and Meg Ryan. You are no longer with me, Meg or Ryan. And if you ain't there, you're more of a Ryan Reynolds, which is more of a, uh, who's the karate mush, bruv? Bro. <laughs> Bloke where his arms and everything just get chopped off or whatever. But like, listen... You're more of a Ryan Reynolds than anything else. You're more of a joke. You're funny, sure, but you're a joke. But this person's funnier than you. <laughs> so you've got, listen, Ryan Reynolds, tell us a joke. Tell us a story. Well, I can spin a good yarn or a lie. But again here, you've kind of got this uh, energy of like where I'm picking up that because you've got two threes, there's a person behind you which is more of a... Um, Punch and Judy show. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. It's like, well, stay out of my two because, like, look at the birds on that. It's like that is an absolute 
bird's eye view. It's like you, I've got a nice pair of blue tits there. Look at them sitting on the side of that perch. So you've got, well, I, at least I sit on my own perch. You know, at least I can hold myself up and I don't have to like wait around. It's kind of like, well, yeah, yeah, but you're just always hanging around, didn't you? It's like, yeah, well, I can do what I want, can't I? I've got my own business, I've got my own love, I've got my own job. I can do exactly as I want. So I'm just going to sit here with these nice pair here and just mind my own business and have a look. <laughs> so <laughs> you've kind of got this uh, energy of where there's so many Piscean references here of where someone that was with a Piscean 3, that all went and it all blew up into pieces and Meg Ryan just went Whoa, everywhere. Right? <laughs> now that could be in many ways, or there could have been a car accident if anybody did get in one, right? This is past, don't worry about it. Because people have been reporting back to me in my comments saying, shit, I did have a car accident, and they did T-bone me. Because that is a T-bone steak from the past, but the future is steak, chips, and peas. But yes, please, Maltese, someone from Malta, or a tease. Please tease me, tease, tease me, tease me, baby, till I lose control. Tease me with your love until I. But someone got T boned. And then the future person is more of a T boned steak. So <laughs> this person will probably take you out for steak, chips, peas, and God knows what else is more of a winning energy than a losing energy. So a lot of you, there is a court battle that's been going on here between a lot of you, between a Pisces being really involved in this. You could even be dealing with like a psychic medium card reader going, I don't even know what's up my sleeve and what your trick is. What's your latest trick? Da -da 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 -da. It's like, look, look. <laughs> Why am I doing that? Someone's rubbing something. Somebody got rubbed up the wrong way as the other person started rubbing someone new, pretty much. Unless you're doing tree rubbings. You might be doing bark rubbings or barking up the wrong tree or the round tree or doing tree rubbings because I'm picking up, look, Pisces, can I just rub up your tree? <laughs> so this Pisces is rubbing their tree, whatever it is. Or someone's been doing like uh, charcoal, charcoal rubbings or like tree rubbings of like a silver birch or something, right? Or someone that lives around where there's a lot of woods and a lot of trees because they keep picking up like I've been doing tree rubbings. Right, uh, or Cummings. <laughs> Someone's definitely been Cummings. That's simple. But um, you've kind of got this in the past where a lot of you, you've been rubbed up the wrong way by a Pisces or they rubbed you up the wrong way. Okay, and if they rubbed you up the wrong way, then they, it's because they rubbed up someone else, which means they went up shacked up with somebody else. They made, the, they made a mistake. They probably come back and you said, you know what, you're more of a chips and peas. Are more of a stake <laughs> so it's like you're the biggest mistake I've ever made this is the biggest mistake I ever made and I tell you what I'm done I'm finished I'm going towards another Pisces energy here for a lot of you like it was the greatest escape of all times I made a mistake I slipped up it was more of a snake Pliskin or a Russell or a Kurt but or Curtis or, or Curtis Tiger, which is around a Leo, and it was the worst mistake I ever made, and now I'm rubbing up my own tree, which means I can sit on my own tree and on my perch for as long as I like. But do you know where I'm coming with this? <laughs> a lot of you have been like indicative with a, with a lot of Piscean energies around you, some in Rising Venus, Jupiter, you, your partner, someone else involved, Leo, anybody else, but like, you know, it's private, it's personal, keep out my life, I'm doing things my own way, basically, okay? Uh, let's see, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, for what's been going on with them. So you've definitely was in a third party and someone left the building, yeah. Started something new. There's, a, there's someone that's very wealthy here, very well off, Ten of Pentacles, three and one is four or so. So you got this person very private, very confidential. You won't get, like, if you struggle and fight with someone, this is a Scorpio Pisces. <laughs> this is a Scorpio Pisces. Uh, this person will, well, it's like me. I get very frustrated with negative people and very people that are always focused on shit. So they're out, you know. 
Um, and I have no problem in shutting my energy off and shutting people out of my life that confuse it, right? So if they make more drama out of a crisis, like a drama courtroom drama, you're like, bruv, you are more than a drama in my life than what you are, well, you're more of a karma drama. You're more of a chameleon. You're more of a joke, <laughs> right? So it's like, look, I'm, I'm being deadly serious. I am an independent person that can look after myself. I don't need you to do it for me. I can do things myself. So you've kind of got this in the past here of where someone may have gone back to their past into a three and doing the Marty McFly energy, went back to their past. Sorry, I have to reference this because there are a lot of people also that hate Piscean energies that have really been struggling with Pisces. And I am one. And I was really struggling in my past with different energies, right? So you have to, you have to look at your story. But um, someone that went off into a third party, they tried to drag that person in. They got dumped and they came back. And basically, you realized, well, karma is... And what actually happens is, is now I've dropped that and let that go. What I receive is, is a, uh, anything that could have been um, like going to court or anything like that. It could have been where you won. But receiving is what I've told everybody. Is, is that when you end a drama triangle and you end a cycle, what you receive is, is may not be what you believe. Right, so if there's lies, you didn't believe it, right? Here, and you don't believe the lies, and then what you get is something new here. So you've kind of got this ten, which is a new, uh, well, things just happen where money comes in, just like your business picks up, your money comes in, you feel happy, you feel content, you don't feel unsettled, you feel more settled. Okay, doing things by myself on my own. Okay, so then what you look at here is is that. Um, that if there are lies there, well then what you get here is, is something that is more stable in your life and more fulfilling for this energy here. Because you leave one for another and when you end a karmic cycle, everything starts to really happen in your life because you are clear and you've dumped the past, you've dumped bad energy, you've got rid of all of that and you are now fresh, single and, and available in order to be able to receive money, things, projects, objects, free time, giving people time, giving the right consistency of it, why all of a sudden there's loads of things just starting to happen more positively in my life, that's because somebody's finished a karmic cycle and this is what you get for it, which is money, which is respect, which is a happier home, which is a bigger place to live, which is a better place to live, okay? So a lot of you, you know, you've kind of got that where there were lies in the past here, and there were, it was like going to court or something that was just lying and lying and lying and lying, okay? And then what you get here is, is where you leave one of those energies and now you've started to receive things here. Well, either you or this person has. Whichever way, you probably both have, if I'm honest. Because this relates to a four, which means that I told you not to pressure me and I told you not to ask personal questions and I told you not to, like, you know... Um, pry into my personal life right and because of that you've got family references here as well you know you know i deal with narcissists all day long so i i concur with how that feels um but that's kind of the energy that you've got there scorpio but you're starting to receive a lot of things or this person did you see if you broke up with them and you've gone your separate ways then this is like well you have that and i have them you have those uh you, you know, you have that person and I'll go my own way and I'll be single. You have the kids, I'll have the home. You know, you go to court, I'll wait for you to take me to court. You keep asking, you're out. I believe myself, it doesn't matter. You just do whatever you're doing and I'll just do whatever I'm doing. You keep going around, running around like a fucking headless chicken and keep going over a drama triangle, running over the same old ground like two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl. You know what, I ain't lost. I am exactly clear and I know what I want. And I'm having it <laughs> here, right? So you've got, look, you're just lost. You Because you, someone lost here, meaning, well, you lost out. You snooze, you lose. That was in your reading for the year. You snooze, you lose, you lost out. Never mind, I'll just take all of this. Thanks. Now, I don't know if that's where there's going to be a cross watcher that's going to be very pissed off and start blaming me over someone that happened in your life. Which means that this person, if you hate this person here, they ended up taking the house, the home, the money, the respect, the people. You know, if there's a good energy here, they get more respect. 
if there's a bad energy and you hate this person, it's because they won. You know, you've got this drama triangle where you can't compare with an energy, and because you can't, you can never get through to this person to change because they don't change their way, they're just staying in the same situation. And you've this person here had enough and they start to go this way, okay? So that's what's kind of happened in your, uh, well, maybe, is it? <laughs> is it, or has everybody clicked off and said, you know what, this person doesn't even know what they're talking about. I'm used to a cup and a fish. <laughs> Sorry. I'm used to a cup and a fish. I need to go around 50 million other different channels and find out what person says when they're, talk when they're reading cards. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Scorpio, not you guys, man, but man, do it. You know, when you deal with the complaints department, you do have them, you know, you do have complaints. And people, they're so used to watching just a generic tarot card reading, and that's no offence against anybody, but they can be used to so much like I'm conditioned to watching so many tarot card readings that when I come up against something new and honest, which is no bullshit and no lies, right, which means like I've just got myself a new guitar, I've got no idea how to play it, and I want to be Jimi Hendrix. And it turns up, and it's new, and then as soon as I pick it up, I think, you know what, I've just tuned in, and this makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I've got myself a brand new guitar, and this person told me that my life is going to be great, <laughs> or that my, I'm going to be Jimi Hendrix with just buying a guitar. No, you've got to learn. You've got to understand that when you do things in life, you start it fresh, and you put in the work, and you start to learn it. So when it comes to something new and fresh and honest and real, right, it means that, well, I'll be real with you if you're real with me. And if you're honest, I'll be honest. So let's be honest, <laughs> right? So when you look at that met uh, met met metaphorically, right, you're looking at that what turns up needs to be, comes to you correct or not at all. So you've kind of got this, look, if this thing turns up, say my YouTube channel turns up and everybody's so generically connected to watching a cup and a fish, they probably won't have a clue or an idea how the energy physically works as someone that reads it, right? So then you'll get unlike-minded people and like-minded people. I don't like you, well then go somewhere else, and then I like you, I like you, I don't like you, blah, 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 blah. And it's exactly the same as I've just spent all this money on this equipment and I've got fucking no idea what this is that's turned up in front of my eyes and I have to put the work in to understand what it eventually starts to mean because it's different, okay? It's not the same. It's different, <laughs> right? So because of that, you're going to get people that complain, right? I get a lot of them, okay? So you've kind of got this, this thing in the past here around complaining. Complain, 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 man, 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 complain, complain. Uh, yeah, man, I'm going to have to take those two. Because the Cancerian energy turned up, and I felt that through the channel messages. You've got the five of cups that came up in reverse, okay, through the three. Someone's trying to leave the past behind. You did. They'd done a 180. They went back to their past. And then by the time they'd got back, you said, well, you might as well take the simple route, which is away from me, right? So it's like, well, it was over to me and over to you. And I put it to you. And you're like, yeah, you might have put it to me. But what you did is go back to your past ways. You started acting accordingly to what you really were about, which is that you went back to... Your past, you went back, that's what they did, they went back to their past. Because this being stuck in the energy, this is a person that went back to their past. Okay, what is that? Oh, I thought it was the Five of Cups. It's the Nine of Cups, yeah. This person, sorry though, but they were independent. This person was very reliable, but lying in a way. Okay, there's a person here that doesn't want lies, deception and deceit. Who doesn't want a liar, right? Elijah? Who doesn't want Elijah? Elijah's ghost, how you doing? Who doesn't want Elijah, right? Um, but I'm hearing uh, something to do with like, I don't want lies, I don't want deception, I don't want anything else that's going on in my life like that's codependent, that makes me feel, because that's very codependent energy, right? So you got, look, I don't want no lies, I don't want no deception, I don't want no bullshit, so I am going in a completely different direction. You may have gone back to your old ways, you may have gone back to drinking and doing drugs, because Nine of Cups is a codependent energy of someone that's drinking, and is also stuck in their way. Okay, which means get out my way, go back to your past, go back to your old ways, get out, go, go on, off you pop, 
and then I'm going to go in a completely new direction, away from this energy, away from third party energies, away from arguing, away from people that stop you from moving away, which means if you're not going to move, I'm going to move. If you're not going to get out, then I'm going to get you out, meaning I'll fight until you do get out, right? So you've got that energy here for a lot of you, Scorpio. Uh, so let's see what the, uh, the hangman is. The hangman, what's the hangman here for? Because this person's just flat out. Yeah, the lovers. <laughs> My chart keeps coming up. Pisces, Gemini, somewhere, okay? Someone's in love with a Piscean energy here, or they're just in love with themselves, but someone chose the wrong person. They choose the, the wrong love, which means that I went back here to the wrong love partner. I went back to the wrong person, and by the time up, I, by the time, <laughs> by the time I read these lines, you'll be gone. Virgo, <laughs> but, uh, there's a Virgo energy here, right? Because it's a Dear John letter, okay? And you probably won't know my references if you haven't met the channel, but I went back off to the past, Dear John Letter, oh dear, what could the matter be? What's gone on? Oh, I've split up with my boyfriend, I've split up with my husband, I've split up with them, blah, 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 I've split up with them, Emily or anything like that, I've split up with them. They've gone back to their past, they've gone back. This person's went back to their brother, their sister, their mother, their father. This person individually started complaining about the fact that they'd split up with the person. By the time that they'd got back, they realised that this person would either one met someone else or started to choose themselves and fall in love with themselves here. So you've kind of got this selfish or energy of a fish and that this person went back, started forming a complaints department about that they ended up single and alone and they don't know which way to take their life now because they're more homeless or they've gone back to family or they've gone back to another state or a village or a town, moved out, moved on, gone back to another person. They're gone left as you go right, which is a good energy because that's what causes a natural law of attraction of a breakup. You don't need witchcraft and all this haunts and pocus nonsense bollocks. You know, you don't need no black powder and stuff like that and sprinkled in wood goddamn candle and god knows what else to break your karma because it's personal growth and you can never get rid of it you're never exempt from it so you might as well get used to it and start learning so you know you go left fair enough i go right you keep running i keep running we don't get on we keep bumping heads we keep clashing heads seven you're you know we don't never get on so you continue to go that way while i continue to go that way and then phew, it naturally breaks you understand the lesson if that's family, you normally continue to play that out over and over again. If someone's got children, they normally do that until they get divorced. They go through set months, blah, 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 so forth, so forth. That's a long, drawn-out piece of string. Okay, and then you just go through more lies, more deception, blah, blah, blah. And you do that for a long time until you physically go through court and everything else to keep this person out of your kid's life, your children's life, your home life, so on and so forth, and thug life and park life. Right, so... They go back there, they complain to everybody else that that's not really working out for them. This person here then, uh, Pisces energy, either one meets someone else that they really are interested in, uh, and you, you both go your separate ways here. Uh, what's the ten of uh, pentacles? Ten of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles, yes, brand new start, Pisces energy, a trip, a journey. This person could have come back momentarily, but more it's more Pink Floyd of a momentarily, momentarily lapse of reason, which meaning they relapsed, which means that they went back to anything codependent, to drinking, drugs, driving, anything that was very coetic, uh, uh, coatic, uh, yeah, I'll know what I'm saying. Anything that was independent, they went back to their own ways. They started drinking. They probably made a drunk call or something like that. Started feeling a low vibration. And as they took that journey, they lapsed. They come back. They realized that you should by now be moving on. Okay, because they lapsed. They relapsed. They made a drunken call to a third person or something. Okay, they went back. They done that. You done this. Okay, so ha ha this way, ha ha that way. Kind of look, you go this way, I go that way, blah, blah, and so forth. Blow your own trumpet here, is what I'm also hearing. But like, there's a success here because this is like, ha, ha I've won. <laughs> or like, well, you win, you know, because that's me all over. Well, you win, fair enough. I just, I won't argue. Me, I, you'll find that uh, people in your life, they hate it if they're narcissistic that you don't argue. And I don't. I literally stay very calm, very quiet, and just walk away as fast as possible, but very calmly. And people that are full of goddamn bad energy, 
they will persist to not understand why you're a calm, calming, caring person here. They won't understand that. And as you start to walk away, you feel very bright and great and feel, you know what, I'm free, I'm single, I can do what I want, I'm free to travel, I'm free, I'm single, I can be on my own, I can do what I want, energy, and I win, whether people like it or know it, this person wins because what they get is dharma. This person got the karma, which is the three of pentacles, and this person will always get the karma. They'll, they've got more to learn through being schooled by a Pisces 3. <laughs> That's why I keep telling everybody, but they don't listen. <laughs> but uh, they get involved, okay, with this person that basically takes them to the karmic courtroom, okay? You all get schooled. You all go through codependent energies of your, uh, of your uh, what do you call it, your soul group lessons where everybody will blame a human being for your own contract. And then because of that, they, you know, you, you go through codependencies. You broke out of this chain where this person here is full of drama and full of karma. So wherever they go, they're going to be completely out of control. This person probably is out of control, like out of, out of mind, body and soul. They're not in tandem with what they're doing here. They're just running riot, doing exactly as they want. Which means here, this energy was karmically rewarded by spirit. By understanding that you are more independent and single and free and available for your own love and your own vibration that don't need people in your life where when you don't need people you're not a needing codependent energy as where this person is or was right so because they were you've learned a huge lesson which is not to get involved with this energy anymore okay so because this person here regardless of whether you like them or whether you don't they win every time they win every time. It might be because they're fucking straight up and honest and, you know, uh, what's the words? Uh, straight up, no chaser, you know. <laughs> I don't chase, which is what I don't. I don't chase stupid people. I run <laughs> the opposite direction. You know, you don't chase. I, I mean, I don't. I don't chase. Uh, well, I do if it's, if it's worthy of my time, if it's new, fresh and everything else. You know, but generally when it comes to playing stupid little games and like, eh, can you left, four, back, front, oh, bruv, you're confusing shit out of me. You go left, I'll go right. They say, yeah, but I'm trying to get your attention. I'm trying to get it focused on me because I'm codependent. Well, go and be codependent to the left while I go to the right. <laughs> that's how you break out of it. You know, that's because you know your own worth. You know your value. You know your weight in gold here. You know that this person in life is worth their weight in gold because they're honest to themselves. They're just like, bruv, yeah, I'll do what you like. <laughs> off you go, off you pop, I'm going this way. And I win, whether I let people know that or not. It's rewarded by spirit of energy. Because it's a light, vibrant energy of receiving. Which is that I don't receive this, bullshit. I receive this because it's fresh, it's pure, it's honest. Right, here. So, there you go. <laughs> there you go, Scorpio. Everybody's like, oh, I, I, I clicked off at the beginning because I didn't understand what the channel bit were. <laughs> and then if you skipped it here and you watched this and you enjoyed it, then go back and watch the stuff because it's future predictions. Okay. <coughs> so anyway, so this is only really, Scorpio, supposed to be, as you may well know already, uh, only part of tier two, which is the full access bundle. And that is where you will find your tarot reading for the last two weeks, which is the 15th and to the 30th. Okay. And then we do uh, a spread for you and then clear that up and do a spread for other people, which are like basically your partner, their thoughts and feelings, what's going on in their life. Uh, people external energies is where you can watch it as a sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. And then you can watch that as it's another reading for another. You may not be on my same nanu nanu with that one, but look at them and see what you see because you can see other energies through the amount of information that I give you. But generally, there's two readings that now go over, all in one video, that go over to your full access bundle of Patreon. If you want to join, you've got a whole plethora of backlogged catalogue readings that are there. That our yearly reading is there, the bi-weekly readings are there, the monthly readings are there. Uh, if not, there are other parts of tiers that you can join, but you can find all the link below to the description from personal 
email, <laughs> which is a personal reading. I'll be with you in a minute. But uh, a personal reading, anything like that, you can reach out and I will get a notification like that when somebody's like, Steve, I want a reading. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you want that, it's all linked below, all provided. Thanks very much, Scorpio, and uh, I will see you very soon.